And once again, the Irish talent here at Perform 2022 is just second to none. And Adam, you've been with us for quite some time now. You've yes. been here at Perform a good couple of years now. This is my third year, I think. This is yeah. your third year. You're nearly on for the four. You're nearly on for the quadruple threat. Yes. Uh, talk to me about the talents that you've been seeing in the workshops today. Honestly, every year it just gets better. Mm. They're incredible. It's the drive that they have. I think COVID was a big help with that as well. I think everyone's really excited to be back out of you know, giving it 110. Did you find it weird now? Because obviously last year was that, like Neil O'Brien said, it was kind of like it, we were tiptoeing around ourselves last right. year. Whereas now we feel like we're heels to the floor. Absolutely. Like, you can feel it. You can feel it in the atmosphere as well in here. I think everybody's just raring to go, you know, give that much more. Um, what's, it, what's the year been like? Because again, you know, last year, everyone was a bit like, oh God, I don't know what we're doing. How yeah. is performance arts going to survive? Mm -hmm. And now we ain't just surviving, we're thriving. We are thriving, yeah. How does it feel to be like out and you yourself are living your best life. You've had mm -hmm. some amazing opportunities this Thank year you. both you know on stage off stage and, and all the rest of it yeah how has it been it's been amazing I, I just feel so grateful to actually be back in the swing of things because at one point it definitely felt like we'd never get there mm. so now it's a thing of the past we are back i've been working on some productions i've got another film coming out i was in disenchanted last week yes you were you were yes, in disenchanted yes. last week. i went to the premiere and yes. I, I saw your face beaming <laughs> talk to us about that experience because anyone yeah. who's watching this that would be a true like that would be a true oh my god moment right. to be able to do something like that work with disney work mm. with people like adam shankman you know yeah what was it like Oh my God, it was incredible. And again, it came at a time where things were so quiet for so long that when this came about, obviously this massive movie that was shooting in Ireland, like what an opportunity. Mm -hmm. So start to finish, incredible. Rehearsals to set, everything was just amazing. Working with Adam, like you said, like an icon. So it was icon. amazing. Yeah. Um, what's, next on the, what's next on the agenda? And also, not only what's next on the agenda, what's the, what's the, 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 the dream goal for 2023, 2024? Because Ooh. we kind of can't say what's the end goal because okay. we both know that that never happens. Absolutely. But for the next two years, what are the inspirations that are kind of going, that's what Adam Fogarty should be doing? I'm just going to keep pushing. I'm kind of going into new areas as well, working with brands and mixing fashion with dance, because dance is obviously my niche. So using that to my advantage on socials is really powerful at the moment and working really well for me. Uh, I'm starring in the new Barbie film as well that's coming out next year, which is really exciting. Is so, that an exclusive? Yeah, uh, potentially. Yeah. Woo! So I'm really excited for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, he has the look, ladies and gentlemen. Stop so, it. Yeah. I just came off literally <laughs> teaching. That's why I'm sweating. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's amazing, that's amazing. Talk to me about, you know, you're saying there about brands and collabs and working mm -hmm. and stuff like that because we've chatted to our other headliners and we've kind of had the conversation that sometimes it's not just about what's happening on stage and that, yes. you know, fingers in all pies has, has been a term that's come up quite a lot. Mm -hmm. How important is that to make sure that you're not just doing the one thing and you're not pigeonholing yourself into the one genre of life? That's a really good question. I think it's about being a smart dancer. If you have multiple avenues open, if one is quiet, then you dive into the next you know what I mean and mm. I have a lot of passion for different things mm. so it's great that I can use dance in all of these areas you know and like just see what happens I, I don't really know does anyone ever know like you said but I'm definitely a yes man if opportunities come and they feel right I'm saying yes and we'll just see where it goes you know that's where I'm at at one point I think your name was always at the top of the list as you know who should be who is the up and coming and who is the who are the choreographers to kind of watch out for and your name was always kind of on Thank that you. thing and now it's there now it's right up there Oof. from your opinion <laughs> who should we be looking at you know who should be on the who should be on the, the headlining board for perform 2023 oh, in your opinion like who's giving you the inspiration from where? Anywhere. Anywhere, babe. You go from, you go from around the I, world. I say let's get some more LA choreographers over. LA. I'm just back from LA and the inspiration that they give me yeah. when I go over there to train is just second. You to love LA. You love, love LA. Is it important to different to, to visit different countries to kind of see how the, the if you can afford it and if you can do it? Absolutely. Is it something that's important to do to kind of open your mind to different things? I think so. I think it's important to try out different places and see what's for you. I know I definitely thrive more in LA in that environment. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's important to go to different places because you become more comfortable in those surroundings. You know what I mean? You're going to perform better. You're going to dance better when you get used to all of these environments. So mm -hmm. definitely, I think it's important to travel around if you can. Just work hard and see what you can do. And Amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, listen, you're just off the floor. I'm going to yes. let you de-sweat <laughs> and de-chill. And de yes. uh, Adam Fogarty, thank you so much for chatting to us today. Thank you, guys.